these are the days of Elijah where we can hear the word of God resounding. Christ said that unless these days were cut short, no flesh could be saved. Matthew 24, 22. There is nothing, nothing under the heavens that could cut time short except by God's living word. So welcome now to the age of the trail trailblazer above whom is Christ the Lord, our King of King, Majesty of Majesties, for he is our everlasting innovation and the imagination thereof, our hero of heroes, our icon of icons. And as we look unto the glory of his love, let us behold with a grateful heart he who is the beloved, the blessed, and the adored. He is our compassionate, the gracious, and he is the always forgiving, everlasting father of all. So it's time that we get with the true imagination of all invention, of who is the manifester of the impossible, who has made now a way where there has seemed to be no way, because he is now bringing forth the inherited equality of all children of love. So welcome to this program, exalting he who is the admirable, the exquisite, and the fascinating fascination of love's greatest hopes released for the kingdom age. And praise God, praise God, free at last, free at last. Can we be as the 144,000 uh, torches of God's uh, Jewish nation become ignited from this channel, for this is the channel of the refiner's fire. So it's time that all people of love who are weak come with me out into the deep, and together we will exalt our Lord God Almighty, for he lifted us out of the depths, and he never let, it, let our enemies gloat over us. For we can call our Lord God for help, and he will heal us. We can sing praises of him, and his faithful people will praise evermore his holy name. For every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess his name. His name is love, First John 4, 7. And praise God that the Lord's anger lasts only a moment, but his, his unending favor lasts many my times many lifetimes, eternity evermore. And it's time that the weeping may stay for a night that we realize, but rejoicing shall come in the morning. So it's time that we turn our wailing into dancing as he removes our sackcloth and clothes us with his joy so that our hearts can sing his highest praises and never be silent again uh, so that we can praise him evermore because these are the days of Elijah where God is saying to one and all, I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I will write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one shall ever need to be taught of me. Again, saith the Lord, for all people of love shall know me. For from the least to the greatest, all who commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, letting your love die. And it's time as El Shaddai's voice, as uh, the mother of us all, and the, from the Father, uh, because the Spirit uh, is coming forth in the grandeur of the shining resplendence of his love and the glory thereof, you can hear his spirit of prophecy uh, speak loudly. And the Lord says, because uh, my breasts and my pleasure are with you, turn not aside your mercies from each other, for I shall never turn away my mercies from you. And uh, all the people of the Lord will, will exclaim and pray for the Lord to never remove his kindness from us, and nor shall he, because he will always stretch out his strong hand. And if we will hear his voice, he will guide us to the end according to his will. So let us all be pleasing before him because of his overflowing glory of love and because his name of love will save this world from the evil one, having even removed him in accordance with Daniel 12, 1. 
and praise God it's time to let his gentleness abide within our hearts for he says I will bring forth fruits because I am love and sweetness shall it be so it's time that we learn the odes of his truth that we can pre produce the greatest harvest of love and we need to open up unto our, ourselves the harp of our beloved's Holy Spirit so that with every note we can praise him evermore and according to the multitude of his greatest mercies he can grant unto us and hasten to, for him to grant our our requests in prayer for he is all sufficient unto us now and forevermore so praise the Lord evermore and know that as the roaring lion of Zion sounds off his kingdom age alarm these are the days of um, the uh, when the vision has written plainly on the tablets so all those who readeth it may run and people what it is is that that is what I am reading so praise the Lord, and it's time to realize this is the vision of Habakkuk. Uh, this is the writing of the Flying Scroll, Zechariah 5, the writing of Revelation 14. One like Moses has come. That was never Jesus, Deuteronomy 18, 18. Uh, the death that he spoke of is the physical death of Zephaniah 1, 1. There will be no birds or fish left on this planet or mankind. It's the total oblivion of Isaiah 24. It's the total oblivion of Malachi 4, 6, uh, Matthew 24, 22, if Jesus counts. Zephaniah 1, 1, people, it's time to run. This is the alarm. Get ready. It's time for the kingdom age. If we don't swim together, I promise you, we're sinking fast.